Hello, everyone. Welcome back to part two of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. I think I mentioned this last time. I started playing this because I was feeling a little bit nostalgic with Indiana Jones being back in the theater after... God, I can't remember how many years it's been since Crystal Skull came out. Ten years, maybe? And yeah, I just went and I saw Dial of Destiny. And I think I'll be a little bit contrary in here and say I enjoyed it. It's just getting decimated in the reviews. I've watched the reviews... You know, it feels like everyone's piling on. I liked it way more than Crystal Skull. There was definitely... I won't spoil it. The ending, I wasn't super thrilled about the ending, but I enjoyed the movie. And there was actually a lot of uh, very similar things that happened uh, as we'll see in Fate of Atlantis. And I think I was thinking maybe I'll point those out as we go through too. Um... So I do kind of wonder, there's a couple parts. I was curious if they took a little inspiration from this game um, when they were writing the script. So with that said, yeah, we're, we're, uh, where we left off last time, we just found the collection that the Lost Dialogue of Plato um, is kept, and it is at, uh, the thing is Barnett College here. So we're going to go try to find it. There's, I think, maybe four different places that the diary could be. So we will have to just start going through those, and we'll see... We'll see which one it's in, which location it's in. So we're going to head up here. One of them, I think, is, yeah, that this was that book that was in that room with those cat statues. You have to open up these screws. And actually, there's something on the bottom of this desk we can grab, because I think that also... An old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. That can also help us. Let's see... The gum there. There it is. Pick up gum. Sure is gooey. <laughs> I love that. All right, we're going to climb up this rope first. Yeah, no, Dial of Destiny. I thought the start, the intro scene was cool. It was pretty dark. I actually, even in the dark theater, kind of had a hard time seeing it. Um, kind of all the action. Um, but yeah, it was cool. They brought... Uh, Brought uh, the not found an excuse to bring the Nazis back as a villain uh, in the movie, and yeah, even in the present day, well, not present day, but the I guess present day from Indy's perspective, 1969, I think it was. Um, yeah, found a good so everything going on with uh, with the space program and, and everything, a good reason to have. Uh, I can't pick that up. A way to connect the World War II story to the. Uh, to the, the current day, so. All right, so here's one of those locations right here. Let's look at this quick. I think he might say which collection this is. I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. God, and was that the one where... I'm trying to remember if that was the... It's locked. Where the, di where the Lost di Dialogue of Plato was. Hmm. All right. In that case, I... I think I need something from the office, some uh, some mayonnaise or something to pull that. Oh, no. Yeah, pull the totem pole and then maybe you get a key up, up above there. We'll find out. See, I just have to open the door. <laughs> Sophia's waiting for me. Uh. Well, don't just stand there. Go find Plato's lost dialogue. I even got a little Sophia Hapgood vibes in Dial of Destiny with the, uh, with Hel Helena Shaw. I think was her name. A lot of people did not Phew. like her. I definitely yes, do not I have that same, same thought. Um. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks actually like kind of enjoyed her oil. character. So, all right, was there anything else up here in this office? Man, it's been a while since I played this game. Nothing useful in here. I always thought this was weird, actually, that you could open this trunk, but there's literally nothing in it. It always bugged me when I was a kid. All right, let's try it. See if we're going to get it on the first try. 
See that gum? Let me do this too, just to show this. Let me go one of the other paths. And I think I didn't get any comments. I wasn't expecting any comments, to be honest, um, around which path to take. I'm kind of thinking I might do the, the action, the fist path. And I was thinking that because that's like the least... The path I took the least when I would always play this. On my shoes for traction. So I was thinking that might be kind of fun to. What do you know? The gum works. To go that route, and I actually have a feeling probably that was the case for a lot of people that that was not the most oft used path. All right, now we use the whip. I think with this book, maybe. I don't think that'll work. Okay. So that's the one that's behind the. That's behind that bookshelf. It's a book ready to fall. Yeah, I really can't use my whip with it. Just want to make sure. I don't think that'll okay. work. All right, so nothing in here then. It's made out of wax. It's much too heavy to carry. It's much too heavy to carry. It's much too heavy right, to actually, carry. Actually, I think that cat, that cat might be another option still. And then you use the cat, I think, with the furnace. This isn't working. Oopsie, do I open it? There we go. A cat idol, but unlike the others, it's made of wax. Use cat. Well, it melted. Not in there. It's not the one. This bulletin board says, was always interesting, too. For sale, Woodstock typewriter with floating carriage, 50 bucks. I think you can basically says, look at this and you get movie tonight, the 39 probably steps. 100 options. It says, wanted ride share to World's Fair. There's another one, funny one like that I didn't didn't do. I kind of forgot to do. It's in Iceland with Heimdall. Um, where you ask him what the eel figure is and he gives you like 50 different answers. All, all equally ridiculous. Oh, geez. What am I coming uh, back in here for? Well, oh don't gosh. just stand there. Go find Plato's lost dialogue. <laughs> oh man totally absentmindedly walked back in there I should have gone back and looked at the part one what Costa told me to uh, or what, what the collection name was before I started playing we had to know if it was Spray collection is the one I'm looking for. All right, so I think you just use this mayonnaise with the totem pole here. All right, can I just climb up it now? Some kind of funeral urn. I believe it's part of the old Sprague collection. Sounds promising. Looks like someone's ashes in here. Feels like there's something loose in here. A key? Nice, got me a key. Hopefully that's good for that chest down there. Just gonna look here too. All right, I'm gonna turn that back down. Accidentally hit that. I'm having a hard time clicking stuff. There's a manuscript inside. The lost dialogue of Plato. There we go. Sophia's gonna be happy to hear that. Let's look at it. The Hermocrates. Now at last I have Plato's lost dialogue translated entirely. The Greek original is lost, so I've used the Arabic text I found in an Italian monastery years ago and always thought and always thought was a hoax. Now I wonder, could this remarkable book hold the secrets to long lost Atlantis? Probably not. No one will publish it. That's certain. The fear of ridicule is too great. To be safe, I've sent a copy to Sprague. Charles Sternhout, Art 1922. I just want to flip through these 
just to kind of familiarize myself because it's been so long. So this talks about a tenfold ear, which is definitely important. And then what's on these pages? Already, okay, because I think some of this too, there's like some trivia and stuff that where you need to know. You get asked questions. Moonstone. Dollars Atlantis or Calcum. Okay. Hey, Nurab Sal. He gets a mention too. All right. Alrighty, no need to waste any more time. I always feel bad when you choose the path and you tell Sophia you don't want to hang with her. I think the team path, I would guess, is the one most people probably did. To me, that's sort of the classic. Only kind of default path. Part of it, too, is in Dial of Destiny, there's like a diving scene, which I think, again, like I said, it kind of reminded me of this game. I got it. I, I think that Plato's diving scene dialogue. is only in the fist path, so. Really? Our jungle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see. I don't see how this will help us find Atlantis. Hmm, let's see. Didn't you notice Plato's tenfold numbering error? So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Good old Nurab Good Sal. old Nurab Sal. I'm starting to like him. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. So, Mr. Sal, what's nice. the secret? I'll play along. Be patient, he's lost. But I think I know how to guide him home. Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Alain Cartier in Monte Carlo. Why should he help us? I'm gonna stay, stay nice. Or was it Omar Al-Jabbar in Algiers? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. We need all three stones if we want to find Atlantis. Let's see. I'm trying to remember which one of these is the... <laughs> Maybe it doesn't matter. I'll go, but you're staying here. We'll see about that. First, I'm going to tell your fortune. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. You possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. You trust others and want them to trust you. The most promising path to Atlantis, therefore, is the one we both must take together as a team. Here we go. Rather go into action. I'd rather go into action by myself. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. I want action. 
Okay, if that's how you feel. I won't try to stop you. I'll send you a postcard. So long, Indy. Off he goes. All right. Another Dial D a Destiny connection. They had uh, some scenes in North Africa, too. All right. Like I said, I did this one the least, this action path, so... Don't even remember where to start. Hello there. Ah, a prosperous American. Do you know where Omar Al-Jabbar lives? Omar is one of my best customers. Alas, his address is known to few men. You ever hear of Atlantis, old man? Atlantis. Hmm, Atlantis. Hmm. No. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. No bother, Fendi. Now, let me get back to work, please. I don't want to disturb them. They look kind of busy. All right. You could always go to Monte Carlo, too. So weird. It's so empty in this, this uh, path. Normally, there's stuff going on. I think in both the other ones. All right, let's talk to this guy. What if this is the guy we follow him through Excuse the streets? Excuse me. How can I help you with Indy? Are you Omar? You mean Mr. Al Jabbar? <laughs> that is an also good one, Effendi. I'm his trusted servant, Paul. Paul Abdul. Can you arrange a meeting with Mr. Al Jabbar? I suppose I could, Effendi, but my master rarely deals with clients in person. Why should I bother him? Tucks his leg in behind a little bit. I got something, I to, got something sell. to sell. Doesn't everyone? You'll have to give me a better reason than that. Uh-oh. I didn't say the right thing. Excuse me. What is it now? I'd like to see Al Jabbar now. What if I should say that stolen you goods one? A reason to trouble my master. Oh, okay. I do remember this now. I think I need to go talk to. I think I need to go to Monte Carlo. Talk to Trottier first. We can do that. Take the long, dusty path back to the airport. All right. Should have known. All right, there he is right there. Excuse me. Are you Alan Trottier? Oh, perhaps. Who's asking? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, 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 I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. Actually, I'm just a simple <laughs> professor. <laughs> Be modest. Oh, leave the modesty to me, sir, Alain Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. I've heard you deal in Atlantean artifacts. Aha, my reputation precedes me. To prove your worth dealing with. Right, here's the trivia. I'm probably not going to be able to uh, know this. What did the oh, car devices this is uh, Amber. Amber. Nailed it. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. Personally, I doubt I can help you, but my name is recognized among dealers in antiquity. Maybe my business card will be of some use to you. And now, au revoir. 
All right, there we go. Driver to the airport. Back to Algiers. Kind of wish they had the quick run or whatever in some of the, the later adventure games, but I guess then you wouldn't get to admire the beautiful art as much. This game. All right, we're going to give this card to this guy, Paul Abdul. Excuse me. Yes? I think this may interest you. Ah, the business card of Mr. Trottier. That's different. Perhaps Mr. Aljabar will desire to speak with you. Wait here until I get back. All right, I think we just follow him out now. Right there he is, right there. The servant's ducking into that house. Well, there we go, Omar's house. Time is running out. Not for all the stars in the sky. Tell me more. Oh, this, looks, this might be my first action sequence. Not for all the fish in the sea. <laughs> Hideous torture. Made of achtung. Whoops. So, Dr. Jones. You fit right into my trap. I maybe should have saved before I did this. <laughs> Just in case. I'll have to remember that for the future. We're going to battle. There we go. Not too bad. Thank you for saving me from that infidel. What's your name? Indiana Jones. Really? The famous archaeologist? What brings you to North Africa? I heard you know something about Atlantis. I'm looking for it. Take my advice, Doctor, and give up. There are men who will kill to stop you. Let me worry about them. Gladly, Effendi. Watch out especially for Klaus Kerner. He and his team are out in the desert, turning a modest discovery of mine into a major dig. They seem to have found an outpost of the Lost Kingdom, and they're stealing my treasures. What were they doing here? The dig site isn't enough to sate their greed. They want more. Now, since you saved my life, here's the map and a camel to speed you on your way. Meanwhile, Paul and I must alert the authorities. Wait, what map? Which camel? Where's the camel? I think I need this pole. Just a piece of bamboo. I also feel like these things do nothing. And again, why why does that even let you pick them up? It's super weird for LucasArts game to let you like do things like open chests and pick things up that do nothing, but Alright. So I think I use the bamboo stick with hanging cloth. Is that the map? Oh, the stick broke, but I got the map. Alright, let's look at the map quick. Hmm, the only mark on this map is one big X. Alright, so if I remember correctly too, you just show this map to people as you make your way through the desert. And it'll tell you if you're closer. It's basically like hotter or colder. That game. Oh jeez, and there's Nazis. Alright, I'm gonna save here quick. In this action mode, I probably should save a little bit more. Cause I think if you get killed, you get killed <laughs> you get killed. The game's over. So I don't want to lose too much progress. Alright, let's try to find a camp. Alright, nomad camp. All right, we're going to show this guy the map. Hello there. Salam, Effendi. What do you make of this map? Hmm. This X is 
considerably to the south and a little to the west. Thanks for the information. All right. Good info. Considerably to the south. And there's no Nazis in this area. Sweet. Oh, there's one there. He's, he snuck out. Oh, geez. Oopsie. I'll see if I can get over here without fighting. <laughs> Hello there. Salam, Effendi. What do you make of this map? Hmm. You are very close to the site. This X is a little to the south and slightly to the east. Thanks for the information. Gosh, so what does that mean now? I'm trying to remember how you f actually find the spot. Oh, there it is right there. Oh, jeez. Yip, get back. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how that didn't trigger like a fight. I lost those guys. What does that say? Uncrossold. Okay. Dig site. Nice. Well, look what I found. An abandoned dig site. All right. What can we do here? Ooh, a rope ladder. Before I do that, let's go down here. It's got to be something good down there. It's a long walk. part was always kind of cool starts to get more visible as your eyes adjust that's a little bit of the game mechanic here so you can pick up it's too heavy to pick up it feels like a portable generator it feels like a gas cap it feels like a wall <laughs> it's cool too how look switches to touch when you're in here in the dark. What's that thing? A little wooden peg. What the heck? Can I pick up the clay thing? There's a coppery bead in here. Ooh, some more calcum. I'm pretty sure I just want to fill that generator with gas. I think the only other thing I need is like a hose. Let's see. Is it over here? Can I pick up the sharp wood thing? Oh, nice. Ship rib. Okay. Sure, that will come in handy. Is this hose down here, or is that somewhere else? I'm sure, I want to siphon gas out of that truck up there. Maybe I just need to turn on the generator. Is that it? Let's see. If I can just, if there's a button to turn it on, just push it. Oh, hey. Don't have to worry about siphoning our gas. All right. I'm trying to remember where we use this rib like on this. I don't think that'll work. It's a painting of a chest or ark. I've seen that before. I don't think that'll work. What else do we got done? Oh, this is where you use it. Okay. <laughs> uh. There's a mural behind this crumbling rock. Right, and this thing we definitely use with this. OK. 
Okay. Did you push this? Well, now, oh, there here's we go. something the Nazis missed. All right. Now we use this with sunstone. And then we'll look at the sunstone. All right. So here, before we do this, um, this is another thing too. There was this uh, disc in uh, Dial of Destiny, Graf Graficos or something it was called, and it had a moon on it. It kind of reminded me too of the stones in this game. Um, I didn't do anything. That's my last Dial of Destiny ref reference. I won't talk about it anymore. Um, all right. So let me look. Let me look at Plato's dialogue, lost dialogue here to see... So let's see, we could try like every one of them, but just gonna look here if there is a clue. And many outposts of sunstone sufficed if sunset made the tall horns red. Okay, so we gotta do the sunset. So setting sun. There you go. Aha! Why didn't I notice this before? The shape painted under the sunstone. It's the island of Crete. I'll bet that's where I'll find Atlantis, or one of the colonies. I'm sorry, they do go to they do go to Greece and go in the labyrinth too in Dial of Destiny. So again, felt like another possible Fate of Atlantis reference, so. Alright. Oh shoot. That's a bad bad call. Do it again. Setting sun. Oopsie. Aha. I just grab the stone. Judging by the placement of the stone on this mural, I should head for Crete. Tough climb. Halt! Do you realize what you've done? I'm saving again here just in case I think I gotta fight this guy. You've dug an unauthorized hole. I was just following Kerner's orders. That's a relief because Colonel Kerner will be back soon and he generally shoots people for digging around here. It's like a good whip opportunity. While you're standing there, let me show you a magic trick I learned. You'll be sorry you did that, Americana. All right, here we go. Going low, we're punching low. Oh no, he's going to go. Come on. <laughs> oh no, come on, don't die, Andy. Come on, one more punch. Oh man. That was bad. Too bad he doesn't have anything worth taking. I do want to go check out this rope ladder too, because I don't know what that is. I mean, that's, I think, a balloon, but can you use that? The tents are empty. The whole place looks abandoned. Oh, you can climb up. Oh, so do I actually take, I wonder if I take the balloon to Crete. That would be cool. Oh, there we go. You know, one of these makes you go. Okay. So must some... be an updraft here. Let's see, I'm gonna do this one. Must, 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 must be an air pocket. There we here. go. All right. We'll go this way for a little bit, a little leisurely tour of the desert. Gosh, we're already at Crete. Like that went very fast. Slow ride. <laughs> I don't know if that's Creed over there.
We just go out to sea. Crete, here I come. That's it, huh? All right. <laughs> that, was, that was a funny little gag. And he's apparently not great at steering his balloon. We made it. Job, Indy. Right, let's go this way first. I don't remember what's back here. Walk to path. Oh, there's the. Okay. Right, let's check this out first. Let's see if we can get into the labyrinth in this part, and then maybe we'll wrap up part two. It's a pile of rubble. Okay, nothing in here. Let's take this bridge. I think there's something over here. Oh yeah, okay. Surveyor's instrument. It's a surveyor's transit, useful for measuring angles and laying out straight lines. Alright, let's take that. Oh, so this is the one where you do the surveying on those. So you use those horns there as kind of a reference point. I did not think that was on this one. I thought that was on the wits path. Maybe the maybe in the team. Maybe it's on all of them, I don't know. Forgetting. It's funny, like that. That I mentioned, there's a part where you scuba dive on the action path here. I did not know that that was only on the action path until I looked it up. I don't know why he's walking all the way up there to go in this door, unless it's like a cliff there or something. Oh. It's a pile of rubble. Time hasn't been too kind to this room. All right, so far not much going on. They're all empty. <laughs> Come on, so there's got to be something to get in one of these rooms. Nothing in there except dust. I kind of vaguely feel like I'm playing this for the first time. It's been so long and I almost never play this action path, so... This is actually kind of cool. All right. Let's do this one next. Nothing in there except dust. God, what am I looking for? Is there like a mural? I'm trying to think if there's a mural or what I'm even looking for here. I feel like there's something that tells you what to do with that surveying equipment. Oh, there we go. Perfect. It's an ancient diagram of some kind. There's a bull's head, horns, and tail. The lines appear to converge on that circle. Could the circle be one of the stone discs? All right, so... Bull head. Turn tail. Okay. I think that should be easy enough to remember. It's a pile of rubble. So there's different spots where you can put this. It's a pile of rubble. Hmm, the stones look loose. So what do I use this thing? I don't think that'll work. I just push them? There's a statue here. Okay, that's the tail. Try these stones over here. There's a statue there we go. here. Nice. All right. I see dirt. Do I go all the way over here? 
I see the right horn. Wait, let me try that again. I thought I had it on the right spot here. Maybe I need it here. I see the left horn. There we go. Nice. That's what I was waiting for. Alright. I see the right horn. Hello, what's this? No, I don't, don't have a shovel, so I don't know. Let me try this. I just want to dig with my hands. Looks like I gotta find a shovel. I haven't done that yet. Hey, there's a stone disc oh, down worked. here. It's got a hole in the middle and little moons carved into the surface. It must be one of the moonstones Plato wrote about. All right, two stones. I think I can go back now. Let's see. All right. How do I get over here? Here we go. Man, I feel like we're making quick work of this game. Can't believe we're already in the labyrinth. Well, we will be shortly. Alright, what do I do? Walk. Oh, there we go. It's just about the same size as the stone discs. All right, I'm gonna look at Plato's dialogue again. I'm sure it says sunstone, horns red. Moonstone is also new with the sun dying. The sun dying as a new moon is born. Okay, so is that still sunset with a new moon? Let's try that first. Dying, what is this though? Darkness. Okay. Setting sun, new moon. Let's try it. There we go. What do you know? A secret door. Oh no! Your trespass. All right, we're saving again, just in case. Oh my god. I do not want to have to redo all that. Nothing on occupied territory. I've got orders not to let anyone pass. I'm a secret agent in disguise. Let me pass. We've already got one Americano working for us. That's about all we can stand. An American working for you? Who's that? Dr. Fräulein Hopko, that's who. She's a hellish vixen, but when coke, she can be very useful. Really? I better think this over. So what if I say that? <laughs> think hard. Or don't come back. What? That's not what I wanted. He just closes the door. Those guys have Sophia, but she'd never help them, at least not willingly. Hmm, I better get in there. All right, we're going to just we're going to call him the sauerkraut line. That should get things going. Here we go again. What is it now? I have to get through that door. And I have to stop you. Poor Klaus. All right, here we go. All right, hey, I'm gonna save there. Oopsie, let's let him. 
Let's let Dr. Jones speak. The legend of a labyrinth hidden under the ruins of Gnosis is true. The legend of Atlantis isn't any more far-fetched. Maybe it's true, too. I'll bet the last stone disc and Atlantis are waiting for me somewhere beyond that door. All right. We're going to save and we're going to wrap up part two. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this, give a give it a thumbs up. That helps get uh, get the videos out to more people. Share it with a friend. Consider subscribing. Most importantly, come back for part three. We'll be hosting that within a couple days here. Um, yeah. And as always, thanks for watching and catch you soon.